Good evening, and I would like to present uh, my data from a qualitative survey that was completed uh, as part of my involvement in the class method 804 introduction to qualitative methods taught by Dr. Tanya Youngbab. Uh, my name is Jim Crotty. I'm a DPS student at Franklin University in the Instructional Design Leadership Program. Uh, this survey, I'm going to just go over um, how the survey is put together and then the data collected and then also a few conclusions. This was an open-ended survey uh, that was put together using Google Forms and there are two iterations of the survey. There's one uh, that was done and administered back in module two of the course, and then a second one in module five. So that provided the opportunity to edit and improve some of the questions to elicit um, a better quality of data in the responses. So um, what I'm going to be sharing with you is the data collected from the second iteration of the survey. It involves six open-ended questions uh, and three uh, questions regarding demographics. And the open-ended questions were short answer uh, responses. Okay. okay, the respondents for this survey were my fellow students in the Method 804 class. There were 12 altogether. Uh, 11 identified themselves as working full-time, one uh, working part-time, all uh, being doctorate level students. Um, the age range were four identifying as from between 30 and 39, three identifying as 40 to 49, and then five and, uh, are as 50 and older. And I would, um, that's the age group that I'm in too. So this will be interesting comparing this particular demographic of student to the demographic of student that I will hopefully be administering a similar survey or a series of surveys to, and that would be uh, with a dissertation topic, the undergraduate first and second year first generation college student. The uh, six open-ended questions used in this survey uh, one, what do you think are the three or four key advantages of online classes compared to in-person classes? Name describe the most prevalent distraction that keeps you from focusing when attending an online class. Identify the top preferred learning activity that keeps students most engaged in course content, content while attending an online class. Identified the preferred optimal amount of time for an online class before attention begins to wane and drift. Five, how would you rate and describe the overall quality of instruction you've received through online classes? And six, which level of academic study do you think is best suited for online classes? Okay, so analyzing the data and the responses to the open-ended questions, uh, instead of um, sharing all those responses with you in this presentation, what I have done is I've applied a coding process um, where I've imported the, all the responses that were um, put into a Excel spreadsheet. The Excel spreadsheet was uploaded to a program called Atlas TI where code words were applied to the responses. So for number one, the code words identified were flexibility, convenience, access, safety. And safety was um, one I didn't expect it to see, but it came up more than once. Uh, number two, um, distractions, uh, home distractions, other communications, um, cell phones and things like that, and fatigue. Since this is the demographic that's predominantly working full time, they're taking these classes at night after working all day. Uh, number three, what activity keeps students most engaged in online classes? The respondents uh, predominantly identify discussions, meaning dis interactions with their fellow students, uh, class discussions. Uh, optimal time was probably uh, looking at it uh, 45 minutes to an hour. I would say 45 minutes more so in the responses. Um, 
rating the quality of instruction dependent on the instructor, uh, very good to excellent, and what level of academic study is best suited for online classes, and all levels and graduate were identified. Okay, in looking at the results of the survey, you can come to a few uh, conclusions. Um, I will be interested to compare and contrast the results of this particular survey to similar surveys that I intend to do with first generation, first year, second year undergrad students uh, and seeing, you know, what their uh, experiences and feelings are regarding online courses, particularly during the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, for this survey, the responses indicated the quality of instruction was rated high. Uh, the optimal time for an online class, uh, the average came out to be 45 minutes, which coincides with my own personal experiences in teaching online classes to undergraduate students. And when I started to notice, it was uh, challenging to keep their attention. So there is a tension span time with quality instruction that is relatively shorter than what probably is the case. I say probably, I'm um, um, taking a guess, uh, with in-person classes. Okay. So um, it's very interesting to do this survey and learn from it, and then I uh, appreciate the opportunity to share these results with you. Thank you.